In this video, I want to show you how you can quickly visualize your SharePoint lists or folders using Power BI without needing Power BI Desktop. We're gonna go through it step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more, so without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So this feature has actually been out for quite a while now, actually since July of last year. However, it's just recently that they've extended this ability to SharePoint folders as well. So I thought I'd cover it. So basically the idea is if you use or utilize SharePoint lists like this, for example, which is just the list of grocery sales, and let's say you use it to collect data. And usually the typical workflow for this is you will create the reports in Power BI Desktop and connect it to your SharePoint list, which is not that difficult actually i covered it in a separate video but the point is that you will need to create your connections and your reports in power bi desktop then you'll publish into the service and then you'll set up the refreshes and that's how you'll get your reports and now the microsoft team has done a great job at making this process even easier if all you want to do is simply visualize the list that you have in Power BI by adding this button called the, the integrate button. So if you select this, this button simply, you will have a couple of options here to use the suite of Microsoft uh, Power products. And you have this option here, the Power BI, which will allow you to visualize the list. And if you select this, it will open up a new tab and this tab will automatically create a visualization for you based on the data that you have in your list. The whole idea with this is that it gives you quick insights without having to go through that arduous process of building the Power BI report from scratch. Now, because this report is auto-generated from the data that you have in your list, it doesn't always make sense. Like for example, you know, like, grouping your data by quantity or cost like this, or grouping it like this, for example, it sort of doesn't make sense. So they've even included the ability for you to edit and contextualize this report that makes sense for you. So you will find this option on the edit here at the top. So switching to edit mode means you'll lose the summary, which is the, the count of rows, which you sort of don't need anyway. Uh, so you can just simply hit continue and you will see a familiar view here. Now this view is very similar to how you would edit your reports in the Power BI service, for example. So while you can't do things like adding a new measure or adding new columns, custom columns, it will at least allow you to control the visuals that are being presented, present them as you want them to kind of better contextualize the data that's being shown in this report. So let's go through a couple of them really quickly. So there we go. I've just spent a little bit of time just sort of contextualizing this report just to make it a lot easier to read and also that it makes sense to me or for anyone who might use it. So nothing complicated, but as you can see, it gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to sort of modifying uh, the report itself. So once you're done, you simply hit save, uh, which will publish this report uh, to your list. So if we just say a uh, quick summary, we'll just name it and hit publish. You've made this report now available to anyone who has access to that SharePoint list. So what does that mean? So if we close this report now, for example, and let's go back to our uh, SharePoint list here. The next time anyone who has access to your list selects the integrate going to Power BI, you will see that they can also visualize the report or the, the list as their own, but they will also have access to the reports that you've just quickly created, the quick summary. And if they click on that, it will take them to the reports that we've modified here. What makes this even easier for users to use is because 
data is already integrated with the SharePoint list. You don't really have to worry about refreshing schedules or anything like that. The connection between SharePoint and this Power BI report is already integrated for you. So you really don't have to do anything, which means that if new data has been added into your SharePoint list, for example, this report will automatically update for you. The most recent update for Power BI in March 2022 extended this ability for SharePoint folders too. So if you have SharePoint folder repositories like this, where you use it to store folders with files. You can also visualize this into a Power BI report as well using the same method. So here, for example, in the same SharePoint site, I have this repository of uh, data and folders in my documents folder. I simply go to integrate Power BI, visualize the library. And again, it will visualize the document folders for me, which will give you some really interesting insights like the number of documents you have in the folder, by who, what type they are, if you need those information. There's one thing to bear in mind though, if you're thinking of using this feature and sharing it across your organization. Anyone who has access to your lists or your folders in a SharePoint site will have the ability to visualize their own. So create their own quick summaries like this, editing their own. Any sharing features that I showed you today, like publishing your reports to the lists or sharing it to your wider business, these features are only available to anyone who has a Power BI Pro license, both for you or your team members who want to utilize it. So just bear that in mind if you're thinking of using it. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to start visualizing your SharePoint lists or folders without having to know too much about Power BI at all. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.